deeper in man those character building labors helped to create. When you saw Frankenstein's monster, okay, he was a creature, he was undead, if you will, but you saw that there was, there was goodness in the creature. He just wanted to be loved. And which of us does not want to find love and be accepted? And I think that's what, what really made the Karloff Frankenstein monster something special that no one else was ever able to duplicate. He wasn't the typical Hollywood actor of the time. He wasn't a pretty boy. He didn't have, he had this kind of British accent thing. He had the kind of mouth thing going. He was perfectly almost normal. And I think that that's what made him unique. I think more people could identify with, with, with Boris Karloff than they could with Tab Hunter, for example. I mean, when you see the scene from Bride of Frankenstein with the, the hermit, and Ave Maria is playing in the background, uh, and the hermit uh, is blind, he can't see the physical scarring of the creature, uh, the creature uh, wants to convey his, he wants to reach out and touch this, this gentle soul because the hermit doesn't see the ugliness. The hermit, the hermit is not prejudging him or condemning him. Um, it's just two souls reaching out for one another. Uh, and when Karloff starts crying to the strains of Ave Maria, when I first saw that, I just fell apart. I thought, this, this is beautiful filmmaking. You just got the heart and soul of this scarred creature.